It has been claimed that former National Football League wide receiver Mike Williams has passed away at the age of 36 as a result of injuries he sustained in a terrible accident on a construction site. In 2016, the former college football standout at Syracuse, who had spent the previous five years in the National Football League playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Buffalo Bills, and the Kansas City Chiefs, decided to retire from the sport. He spent the most of his tenure in the National Football League, NFL, with the Chiefs, the team that chose him in the fourth round in 2010 and signed him to a contract that was good for four years. During that time, he earned a total of $11,848,250. It has been reported that Williams was working on a building site in the recent weeks when he suffered the catastrophic accident that ultimately led to his passing. The news of his passing was initially shared by Buffalo Bills beat reporter John Scott, who subsequently verified the information with a variety of other sources. Additional information was disclosed on a GoFundMe website, which is said to have been established by Williams' father, Wendell Muhammad. It is stated on the page that Williams suffered a severe head injury as a result of a steel beam falling on his head. The page was established before Williams passed away in an effort to raise funds for Williams' father to fly to a hospital in Tampa, Florida. The ex-NFL great also suffered from complete paralysis in his right arm and below the waist, as well as swelling on his brain and spinal cord, according to Williams' father, who continues to describe the extent of his son's injuries. The message goes on to say that he passed out on September 1 after experiencing breathing issues caused by the accident, and that the physicians detected water in his lungs on September 3, following which they induced a coma in him. In the post, Williams' father stated that physicians had planned to attempt to wake his son up on September 6. However, it has since been revealed that Williams passed away as a result of the injuries he sustained. Williams was a standout player in the college game for Syracuse, where he spent all three of his college football seasons before moving on to the professional ranks. During his time in the National Football League, he finished with 223 receptions, 26 touchdown catches, and 3,089 yards receiving. Mike Williams was a record-setting receiver during his time in Tampa, with 11 touchdown catches as a rookie in 2010. It took Mike Evans to come along in order for that record to be broken, but the feat had never been accomplished till then in franchise history. After four seasons with the Bucks, Williams was traded to the Buffalo Bills for a sixth-round pick. The WR was ecstatic at the prospect of playing for the team he grew up cheering for. Sadly, things didn't work out for him there. Then, after short stint on the Kansas City Chiefs practice squad, Mike Williams called it quits on his NFL dream, having earned close to $12 million in career earnings. He had a total of 223 receptions for 30-89 yards and 26 TDs during his professional football career.